Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bits and more. Link in the description below. All right, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. I got some plays for you today out of the Baltimore Ravens playbook. This is my favorite playbook. If you follow my channel last year, I've said it a million times. This is the playbook that I use. It's to me the best playbook in the game, and it was last year as well. They went ahead and they made it even better this year by adding a lot of really great stuff. They took out a little bit, not too much that I'm really upset about it, but for the most part, this book just got even stronger and got even better. So I decided to make my first ebook of the year out of this. If you guys want to get that, links in the description are below. You can purchase. A a full uh, breakdown video of this uh, right now on YouTube. Uh, there's a link for that. There's also a link for my Patreon. You get unlimited ebook access for every ebook I put out uh, every month uh, for the Patreon subscribers. And then, like I said, my personal website, you can buy uh, the Ravens ebook right now. So, this is going to be the first video. It's kind of a preview video, but it's also going to be a really long uh, release video on my uh, Patreon as well. There's going to be several parts to this because this really is, um, there's really two formations that look identical. You got the single back wing pair, uh, which you have the running back lining up right behind the quarterback. And then you go to the gun and you have the gun wing pair. So, there's a few differences, but I'm going to shoot this all as one full length part video. Uh, because they, they look they look practically identical. Your opponent's not really going to know what's going on unless they really pay attention to the position of the running back. But you can run these two series uh, together and really make an offense that would work throughout the entire game. So first I'm going to start off with what my favorite play is out of this, and it's the Jet 6 Drive. There's a Jet 6 Drive on both, but they're run differently. So I'm going to show this one right here. We're going to go ahead and pick that. And then we're going to just go, uh, this is a big formation, so your opponent is going to have to match. They're going to have to come out in something heavy like a 3-4. So we'll go ahead and we'll pick that. So it's a real simple setup. All I'm really going to do here is motion West out. And if it's a man coverage, he's going to beat whoever's in front of him. Uh, if it's a zone coverage, you're just paying attention to the inside zone, which is the guy standing in front of West. If he uh, hesitates the slightest bit, West is going to be open right away in the flats if you bullet pass it and, and pass lead it out a little bit. If he doesn't, um, react to uh, West. If he reacts to, if, I'm sorry. If he reacts to West and he doesn't react to Wallace, then Wallace is open right away. So let's go ahead and let's run it one time like this. You see there, Wallace right up the seam. He didn't react to him, so he's wide open. I think he fumbled there, Dan. <laughs> but this, if you have a fast running back, this is a really deadly uh, man beater option, um, which is really what I'm hoping to get here anyway. So there, it's not actually a man. It was actually a, a shallow zone, but you see, it still works the same way. Man's gonna work even better. So that's one way to run it. Um, your other options on the other side, you have a, a tight end that's going, the red tight end right there, the X route is really good. And uh, he has a tight end underneath him doing the same thing, which is um, one of those two should be open every time as well. Uh, there, I'm gonna take, this guy's gonna be the check down. He's gonna come open underneath everything. I was looking for the deeper tight end though. Pretty much everybody gets open here, except for the R1 route, which is a really good man beater too, by the way. But I'll show you a, a way to get him open as well. It's just based off of, um, you know, what you want to do. There, that was just a heavy blitz. Come on, bro. Give me a block, A7. Where the hell are you running? Yeah, basically everything will get open here somewhere along the line. I'll show you another variation of this uh, in a second. And man, they're just like letting this guy just go like way underneath. Can we get a block, 17? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. But another way to do this, you motion him to the other side, and this is kind of glitchy because he actually stops right here, and this is a cluster F. I'm not, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like these guys, they all get each other's ways coming out of the break, so that's not the way to do it. You have to actually motion, motion him again, and this is actually kind of a unique look. If you leave him like this, it takes a little while, but for some reason, he doesn't really get reacted to um, as well when he comes underneath like that. Yeah, sometimes if you do it like that, West will get open right up the middle, but I'm not really saying run it like that. What I would like to say is it's better to run it like this. This is a cover two beater way that'll play off of the R1 Williams route, or you can just put him on a streak and then it'll work a little bit better against cover threes. Doing it this way will essentially uh, make Wallace a little bit ineffective on the other side, but it'll open up Watson. So basically whatever side you motion the running back to will open up the route that he's accompanied with. So let's go ahead and let's run this in a little cover two concept. You can see how he dropped down low. So the tight ends open wide for what I'll call a touchdown, even though I don't think he made it in. Um, but that's it. I mean, this is this running back makes the whole play. And like I said, he he does have a slight tendency to get open, even if you don't make the uh, make the adjustment. So this is really, you know, you just have to pre pre read like here. I think that was a man. I'm not really sure. That's a really good man beater route. That tight end um, will beat man all by itself. Yeah, your tight ends over the middle too with Boyle and Watson are really good man beaters too. Um, they're really good zone beaters. Everything. I mean, they just have. 
a uh, little bit of everything. I don't know what that was. Cover two, cover three. I'm not sure. Yeah, if you if you see a single high safety, uh, you know, in man, which a lot of people run, have like a four six. That's probably something that somebody would run against a look like this. It's just going to get open. You know, everything here is just going to destroy it. So this is a perfect play for that. Next up in the single back wing pair, we got the uh, PA sprint halfback flat. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put R1 in an out route and then smart route it. Uh, and that just kind of completes the flood to the one side. Uh, as you can see, hopefully I get a good throw here to Boyle. Nice catch. Comes back to the ball. Uh, but that's going to get one of those guys open every time. I also like to put Watts in here on a slant. And uh, he just kind of works across the field. Uh, he helps to have as a blocker too. Uh, but, you know, that's really up to you if you want to do that. It might be a little bit overkill. The running back's the first read. If it's there, take it. Um, I like to cancel the play action because I find it's a little bit detrimental to the play. Uh, the boil there, you can see how he gets open deep. And then your check down. This is one of the better routes for a check down, what Wallace is doing. Um, as I'm waiting for him to clear there. There we go. That's a good route. It's not necessarily a check down. It's a good read. I don't want to say like he's just a check down. Um, but this is like a cover three. So I'm going to put Watson on this cover three beater. Actually, it was a man coverage, so I was way wrong. And I was waiting for Watson to, uh, Wallace to clear there. Wallace is a really good route. I don't want to say like he's just a check down. It's a good route. So let's go ahead and let's rock this a couple more times. Getting a lot of man looks. And Wallace is going to be dirty as man. Let's go. Let's get that touch. Let's get that touch. Touchdown. Weird how everybody runs man this year considering it's as, it's as bad as it ever was. And we got Wallace clearing again there. Tried to throw it a little bit faster. I don't know what happened. He had a bigger hole. I don't think I hit Williams yet. Like I said, he's just... You know, Williams will force him to pass off the other guy to the safety. Yeah, you kind of got to run a Mabel concept to an extent to stop this play because there's so much different levels of players going on here. As you can see, one of them's going to get open every time. This one is the R1 route. Make a guy miss. Almost get a touchdown. I'm going to say it was a touchdown anyway. Move on. Next up, we got the PA X Burst Cross. Pick that. We'll go ran through four. This right here, all you really want to do is put R1 on a, on a drag. Uh, Boyle there, I think he's best um, as a uh, pass blocker. I, I don't want everybody, um, you know, I would like somebody to stay back in. Uh, Wallace there, that's not really a route I'm going to look at. So it's really up to you if you just want to streak him. Uh, he's just there to pull coverage. But you've you got three reads over the middle. This is like a flood to the center. Uh, my running back here is really good. I mean, you can see everybody's pretty much open there. Uh, not the best move, a little bit early. But um, this play here is really just, you know, it's like, a, like I said, center flood. You see how, you know, the, everybody is dropping down because those, those linebackers are reading responsibility of the low routes. And that really works to leave, um, you know, the deeper route open more often than it really should be. Here's your one route getting open on the drag. Like I said, one of these will get open every time. You have three levels of passing here. And I'm not really getting, I'm not taking any heat because I have a, a decent amount of blocking too, which is nice. Oh, he actually dropped back, but it was too late. It's hard for them to react. Good move. It's hard for them to react to the deeper route last second. And this is a good route, I mean, like, cause I, or a good play because you get to leave uh, the tight end back to help pass block, which is nice. I'm not seeing any protection issues. As you can see, these guys are just pulling open underneath everything. Yeah, I find this is better blocking than typically you would get from a running back as far as a pass block goes. And there I throw it up to Wallace because he had inside inside position. Man, we'll go and run this one more time. Yeah, tight end actually was catching up there. <laughs> the running back. I don't want that. I want spacing, but it's whatever. So we'll go ahead and move on. All right, so that's it for part one of what's essentially two formations. Um, like I said, there's a full breakdown video of the Ravens available now, as well as ebooks available. All that stuff's in the description below if you want to figure out which one you want to do. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. Money shit out.